Well, hello, welcome to the ITL. <laughs> Actually, this is take three for me. <laughs> oh. Don't we just love it whenever, no matter what you do, things don't come together. Of course, you gotta use memory too. First take, uh, well, I got interrupted with my critters. That was not a big deal. They had to go out, they had to go, they should have back along with them, you know? Um, second time, I noticed. Well, the first time was all messed up, but anyway, because my volume on the, on the uh, mixer board wasn't turned up. And that, that, that caused me to, for the third take. You know, everything's up, everything's working. Seems to be working anyway. So, we'll see how this works. Lisa, Lisa I looked over and noticed that the uh, volume was turned down before I closed up everything. <laughs> so, sitting on my, at my laptop. But, yeah. What was I talking about? What, what, what did I mention about on the other takes? So let me sit, think here. Oh, yeah. Last, I'll tell you what, last couple of weeks has been one painful week around here for me and actually the, the missus. We actually suffer both from fibromyalgia, as everybody knows. And this rain and weather really has been kicking our butts. I'll, be, I'll tell you what. And But yet, I've still been getting things done. Yes, I have been. I've been a couple of the uh, week before last, it was the bike tires, motorcycle tires. Uh, uh, Memorial Day, it was the uh, rear tires on the SUV. Yeah, I don't have any fancy machines like, like the shops have. I just have a standard manual tire changer. You can see that in my other older, a lot older videos um, from Harbor Freight. And I have a bubble balancer. It'll do me just fine. It'll do me just fine. I got, them, I got them all taken care of. Uh, then after that, the bike got its oil change, long filter and everything. So does everything else that I have other than the SUV itself. The SUV is not quite due for an oil change. The SUV is actually due in February or March, the way the mileage has been going on it. And it should be fine. Um, but yeah. Yeah, this weather from the coming up from the uh, was it uh, uh, Harvey that came up and hit Texas. You know, I, I hope I hope people can get start can start to get on their way to recovery down there. Um, that's all I want to say because I mean, uh, there's a lot of politics was played into that. It made a lot of a large downfalls down there and I'll, I'll be I'll be I will say that I mean the, the loss of lives that's been lost there could have been a hell of a lot a heck of a lot more a heck of a lot less lives lost if they uh, just did better planning and uh, did things the right way um, but yeah hindsight's 50 50 I guess yeah or 2020 I mean um, you, you, you know what I'm saying but the one that's going to be hitting, so Irene, going to be hitting the uh, Florida. I mean, they need to evacuate. Florida needs to evacuate. I mean, when it comes to Florida, a lot of Florida is either right at sea level or below sea level, actually. And, I mean, you're told to get out. This is evacuation time. There's there's no playing big man. I'm, I'm going to try to weather it out. No, you're going to be underwater. You're, you have very, very high chances that you're going to lose your life. And then you're on top of it, you're going to expect people to save your butt whenever the water gets too high. So you're going to put dumb workers at, dumb people at danger. I mean, it's stupid, stupid, to left, to, left to right. And when it comes down to that, come that if life is, that life is lost for that reason, I can't feel for them people. I'm sorry. I just can't. Um, it's just the way it is. Ah, uh, the weather. Well, it is nice and cool out. I mean, you see, I'm wearing my... But basically, this turns into like a, a windbreaker whenever I pull a liner out. And, I mean, it does a very good job. I've had it for a few years now. Winter time, during the night time, it's been dropping down. Pretty chilly around here. I mean, I keep my, my house at, oh, normally, normally like 69, 70. Um, I, if I drop it below any like around 68, 67 degrees, it's just dropping down. Because you'd say plus or minus a few degrees, 
or my 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 animals start getting sick and I'd rather spend a few pennies a month to keep my house warm comfortable for them than paying the, the, the vet bills hundreds of dollars on vet bills per animal I just because they're getting older they're they're not taking the, the weather is right I mean I've they're to the point where it sounds ridiculous I know but uh, they do wear little uh, sweaters and jackets to go out come outside and do their business it's just the way it is they're, they're old <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so I'm uh, and I'm thrilled to have them at their all their senior years. I'll call, I'll call them. But yeah, it's it, it's been it's just the way it is around here. Oh, the riding videos. Um, I want to keep them going as much as long as possible. Um, I'm hoping they get things on the roll. Then they'll kick me off the riding for a little while. But I'll, I'll, I'll keep up my ITL as much as I can. I mean, I might miss a, a week or two. And I will announce that. I'll try to announce that whenever, right before I, I, I know it's coming up that I'll be missing it. Because, I mean, uh, I want to take a week or two just to get myself back together maybe. It depends on how I feel after the surgery. And if, if I can hobble out here... Um, and set up that'd be cool i mean i won't be probably won't be as elaborate as the setup i have right now but i mean i could throw a camera on a tripod and hobble out here if i'm filling up to it this setup here is quite elaborate i mean you guys don't know it you guys it doesn't matter to you guys because just the way it is but for me this makes it a lot easier editing time And yes, the Tuesday ride, the storm ride, I actually enjoyed that. Uh, except for, I, mean, I ended up being in there for a couple of hours, and it was, but it was downpouring. Uh, the jacket kept me nice and dry, just everything else was soaked. Um, but I did enjoy having the B camp set up, the handlebar camera. I mean, I really enjoyed it to be able to see the flash in both cameras at the same time. I mean, that was just like, wow, that's cool. I like that. From the lightning. Yeah, that, that, that was awesome. Um, but it, it, it's, I, I mean, that, that is something, something else in my eyes. It really is. Oh, i seen Hooty who is busy yet changing his oil in his vehicles. He's putting oil change videos in Good job. If that's something you want to do, who do you? Go ahead and put the videos up like that. My channel, I just don't see where it's going to be beneficial for me to put up videos that are shown hundreds and hundreds of times over again on YouTube. I mean, you do them on a vehicle, you do them all on mostly everything on that type. I mean, that, I mean, just the way it is. You do a car oil change, you, one car oil change, you've pretty much done them all. And motorcycles, oh, they're, they're slight variances, but they're about, about the same way. And I mean, why am I? It, it, I just don't see it as an improvement. How to improve my channel, bring it to the next step forward. Um, but but I will tell you with the uh, the tire balancer that I got, the bubble balancer. Um, well, I got it. I got it's, well, it's brand new. It's brand it's brand spanking new. I bought it off of Amazon actually, and uh, I ended up putting a little bit of lube because it, what it is is it, the top balances on a little pin. On the stand, and I put a little bit of uh, like a grease lube on it to keep it uh, keeps the wear and tear down on it, and it makes it slide smoother. Gives you a more, more of an accurate reading. Well, that took a little a, teen, a, a few minutes to break it on its own too, because I mean it was just fresh out of the box, and it wasn't it was giving me a little bit of an erratic, erratic reading at first and it took took me a good 20 minutes to, to bounce one tire i'll tell you because i poke it and let it bounce it settle down and then bump it again let it bounce up down and it wasn't reading the same every time then all at once it just started reading right every time and i even brought i took another tire over onto it and did the same thing and it was reading right every time i knew i got i i had it done, i had it i had it going right um, but if, if you don't know, so, know about it, this stuff, that's something you should be aware of. I mean, put a, little bit of put a little bit of grease, helps it slip a little bit more, 
That way it'll balance it out better. And keep at it until it starts settling down and reads correctly every time. Well, it reads as close to correctly as you can get every time. That's all, that's all, that's all it is. Um, but yeah, I mean, the wife, she's the only one that's driven the SUV since I've done it. And she says, boy, does it ride beautiful. It rides beautiful. But I figured I'd give you a little bit of warning. This is kind of an update with the ITL. Not a whole lot going on. Not a whole lot going on. Um, this is Muscle Mike. Hope you all have a great week. Let's say an uneventful week. Because the uh, if you're down by Florida, if, yeah, the hurricane's coming to hit you. They're calling for, what, Sunday night? And it'll probably be tomorrow night for you guys. And, I mean, I hope I hope you're, if you're living in Florida that you're out of there. You're not playing macho. Um, this is Muscle Mike. Hope you all have a great week. Signing out.